my, 58 male, wife, 51 female, is being converted by one of her co-workers. How do I counteract this influence? I don't go to church but I have a lot of friends who do. I don't try to change them and they don't try to change me. I'm not an outspoken atheist, agnostic but that is what makes the most sense to me. My wife and I have been together for almost 30 years. In that time, we have never gone to church. I have from time to time discussed my beliefs but never in a pushy way. Over the last year or so, she has become good friends with a woman at her work. This woman is young, attractive, confident, appears to be considerably more affluent than us, and outspoken about her religious beliefs. All of this is relevant because I think it is having a big effect on my wife's perceptions. Today my wife handed me her phone to look at something and I saw that there was a Bible study page of some sort open on her phone. She has changed over the last year. She has been going to this woman's house periodically for what she calls, girls' night, but it was also referred to as Bible study by her friend once in a conversation while we were all out to dinner. Additionally, my wife has declared that she wants to direct the course of her life to make as much money as possible. I feel like this is all a result of the time she has spent in this woman's influence. She also wants a new house and what she's been looking at is two three times the value of our house. I was going to retire in 8-10 years but with a debt burden like that, I would just have to keep working until I die. I don't think I try to control my wife. She is free to pursue whatever she wants but I don't like the direction she is going. I can see that this may be the eventual cause of us not staying together. Has anyone else been through this? What did you do? How did it turn out? Are you sure this, Bible study, is not a front for some cult? Cults usually insist on you making as much money so that they can brainwash you to hand it all over to them. Is she getting caught up in an MLM? Because this sounds like some of their tactics. Lots of a certain type of, Christian, women are deeply involved in MLMs and they learn their brainwashing and indoctrinating techniques at church. Your wife lies to you and doesn't tell you she's even doing Bible study, that's already an issue. It's not about control to say, this is my life too, and I want the whole truth. Really you just need to confront her, and then figure out where you stand. If you are not religious, and she is pursuing fixed goals based on some, religious, doctrine, then those are diverging paths. Devout Christian here. Sounds like your wife is getting involved in the prosperity gospel. Obviously as a Christian, I'm going to say that Bible studies are wonderful but the financial aspect of this friendship seems concerning. The Bible commands us to be good stewards of our money, and also to be content with what we have. Also, MLMs are rampant throughout the churches unfortunately. Some churchgoers missed the message about Jesus driving the merchants out of his temple. They were using religion to make themselves rich. Since you are an agnostic, I'm going to assume that you are not too familiar with the Bible, but you can easily look up verses on your phone that caution against the consuming desire for wealth. If you want to stay married, you need to get more involved with her life, specifically this part of it. There is no bigger or redder flag than personality changes. My, 34M, girlfriend, 31F, confessed me that my sister turns her on. Me and my girlfriend have always been so honest and so open. We have been together for the last 8 years and everything has been good so far, with normal ups and downs, but I nothing serious. She had a previous relationship with a girl. We sometimes kind of comment on girls and share sexual thoughts. We don't want to bring people into our relationship, threesome, as we are fine like we are and afraid to mess things up. However, two days ago we went to have dinner with my sister and her husband, we live nearby and we meet quite often. Maybe my girlfriend drunk too much but after coming back home she was visibly turned on and ended up confessing me she always liked my sister, that for sure never told me because she didn't want me to think bad about her or to overreact but that she couldn't resist to confess it to me. I told her to explain why and she commented not only on her personality but also on her body and I felt uncomfortable. Last thing I asked her is whether she e-stimulated herself sometime thinking about her and she admitted it. I had enough and I went to sleep, but I couldn't till very late. Yesterday after waking up she apologized and told me to forget about it, but I can't. It is all the time in my head. This is the kind of fantasy that I can't digest and can't forget. I know nothing happened or will ever happen and maybe I have to respect her inner intimacy that she shouldn't have shared with me but I am completely blocked. I also fear there are other things in my girlfriend's head that I don't know and that maybe things are not as ideal as they look like. How can I move on? How can I move on? You know how to but I don't think you're going to. Yeah man there's no coming back from your partner telling you they want to fuck your sibling, I'm sorry.
she's bi, and you both comments on women and share sexual thoughts because you guys are being open. Ask yourself if you'd feel differently if it was another woman, total stranger, instead of your sister. Unpopular opinion maybe but is it really that big of a deal? You say you are open about sexual stuff and she was drunk, it's not like she fucked your sister. I don't think it's a terribly big deal. Big difference if my partner said my brother was hot and she touched herself thinking about him, and her saying my brother is hot and she slept with him. My, 29M, fiancé, 30F, says if we ever divorce, she'd leave with future kids to China. I love my girlfriend, we've been together four years and she is incredible. She's from China, I'm from the US, and we are located in the US. Unfortunately, some issues have come up while we were talking through what we want in our marriage and I don't know how to face them. The big issue has to do with what would happen if we were to run into issues we couldn't resolve in our marriage, and decide to divorce. It does feel weird talking about divorce at this stage, but I feel like we shouldn't enter marriage without talking these things through. She said she hates the US, and that I'm the only reason why she is here. She says that if we were to go through a divorce, God forbid, she would take the kids with her back to China. She also tells me it isn't worth talking about because she won't change her mind. Opening parenthesis exclamation mark closing parenthesis. The conditions around the kids are not acceptable to me. She expects me to move to China and learn Mandarin to have access to the kids if things were to fall apart. I feel hurt by this, and think that this is uncharacteristically inconsiderate from her. I understand there would be legal options for me before that point, but I don't think it is healthy to consider that the solution, and think it is important we reach a consensus now. I didn't realize how extreme and set in stone her stance was, and it seems like a huge red flag. I told her that if she chooses me, she chooses the US. How do we get unstuck? Too long did not read. She won't budge on taking future kids to China if we were to divorce. Edit. Replaced, abduct, with, take. Don't get married or have kids with her. Duh. I told her that if she chooses me, she chooses the US. You don't see how that stance is just as extreme and set in stone. In the past few years have you even considered at least learning to speak Mandarin, so you can share her language like she shares yours? Then y'all should break up. She will leave now and no longer be miserable, and you won't have to worry about having children just for them to disappear one day if she decides she's done being unhappy in the US. Let her return to the place she loves. Alone. Just an observation but after four years this stance of hers is a surprise to you. If I was you, I'd have to wonder what other surprises are in store for you. Maybe you don't know her as well as you think you do. I looked at my boyfriend's, 26M, laptop because I, 22F, had a gut feeling. Asking for friendly advice. Hello all. Hope everybody's doing well today. To give you some backstory I am 22, F, and my boyfriend is 26, M. We have been together for a year. It has been mostly good. However, there were a couple of red flags that I ignored or dismissed. As the months started to go by, I realized more and more. Starting to see through him. Flirting with women in front of me, staring at women up and down everywhere we go, talking to them on social media. So you start to wonder what they do behind your back if they do that in front of your face. I have had that gut feeling for a little while now something weird is going on. Or has gone on. I am an overthinker too with trust issues so I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. Our sex has changed. We do it less often and he is very unmotivated now. I decided to look at his laptop one day because I was feeling very strange. I found a lot of porn. Live camera girls to be specific. But almost every single day. Not only in his history but he had downloaded and saved documents, movies, live streams. All from the same girl. Since 2019. I couldn't view them but they were recent. I found a video of his ex that he took of her naked as well. All of this was a lot to take in. It makes sense why sex is weird because of the porn. His ex was a camera girl for free cam websites. I fear those documents are her. And he is looking at them when I'm not home. I live with him too. It's all very strange and I'd like some advice. What do we make of this? You made multiple posts about red flags. You need to wake up and realize that your boyfriend has no respect for you and leave. All from the same girl? Time to break up. He probably has a porn addiction. You need to break up with him. This kind of behavior is not okay and very disrespectful. He knows it is too but he's choosing his selfish desires over your relationship. 
This kind of thing will not just magically disappear if you talk to him about it either. He will say he's stopped but he won't. He clearly has an addiction. Trust me you do not want to deal with a man with a porn addiction. Run. You want sex, he is getting satisfied elsewhere. Tell him you know, and ask him whether he wants to have sex with you or solely masturbate to her videos. Press until he answers, if he refuses, you know it's the later. Break up and then you'll find someone who will have sex with you.